although wiper account for the greatest biomass in this fishery, Wheeler Bay is still a popular catfish and walleye fishery, and both of these fish are good examples of why. We've seen a really good rebounding trend in catfish. Overall abundance and the average length has increased for um, the last few years straight, so the catfish fishery continues to improve. We're happy to see that they're in pretty good shape. Yeah, those are heavy. <laughs> I would like to double up right now. What do you think? That lone tree, that's our lucky tree. We seem to pick up fish as we go past that quite, quite frequently. So far I'm just catching small ones, but I am an excellent netter. Did you see that? I get them right in the net. Scott, I need you to put a fish in the boat. Ooh, can you hear that? Yes, that's a good one. Ooh, there we go, I don't know. What, whoa. Holy cow, he's taking out a lot of line on this puppy. You wanna throw the boat in neutral there? Holy schmackerels, we got a, we got a nice one on here. There's gotta be one lone rock sitting out here. There's gotta be something, Scott. Oh, these are fun fish to fight. Didn't go to the gym today for a reason. I knew this was coming up. They've got so much power on them. Oh. We'll just play them here. And Hang on, don't, don't, don't go down too deep. There we go. Another nice one. Couple of smallmouth. How about you? Oh, another nice fish. Great fish here. Wipers are beautiful. Hybrid between the striper and the white bass. Pleasure to catch and a pleasure to have fun with. I love to eat them, they're great. Sour cream and onion chips uh, mashed up into crumbs then bread the fillets in those. Well first you get a little bit of soy sauce. You run the fillets through the soy sauce and then you just lightly bread them with that sour cream and onion Lay's potato chips and throw them in the frying pan. Golden both sides and you're set. I am really surprised. The shown. Got him still? Yep. Tucked pretty good, took a dive on me. It's definitely bigger than what I caught earlier. You're gonna have to slow down a little bit so I can get this in and net him for you. We got another uh, walleye. This is a walleye night. Hey, I just caught the biggest walleye of my life. I think it was like 12 and a half pounds. It was huge. It was awesome. I loved it. That's awesome. That's the biggest walleye I've ever caught. That was awesome. He fought good. He fought more than uh, more than that walleye I think earlier did. Good. Good. That's that a beautiful well. fish. <laughs> it's a good day. It's a good day right here at Willer Bay. Awesome. It's, it's quiet fun. on that other boat. It really is a nice shiny boat, but we're catching fish on this boat. But that is a good looking boat. You know, we ended up getting a couple of smallmouth, which for this lake are a nice bonus. Um, you know, casting that rip wrap, that's a good solid two and a half pound. You know, not quite a pound, but still, those are great smallmouth for this lake. I think my one uh, wiper puts both your smallmouth to shame. Size does not matter. Oh, it doesn't matter? <laughs> no, size doesn't matter. Those are beautiful. These are beautiful. They're awesome. It was a good night. That was the best day I've had on Willard Bay ever. We are hooked on Utah. Definitely hooked on Utah. Nothing better. Well, I paid up partly because I don't know what kind of mojo I brought on the boat, but we did everything Scott said we should do. We caught a couple of smallmouth. I got to give it to you guys. You know, MV here, um, Jake, they spanked us. That's all there is to it. I honestly did not think it would happen. I mean, Guys that troll, I mean, that's not that hard. I figured we could cast them up, dig them up, do what we had to do to get a few in the boat. It, it was too much glitter on the boat. Scared them away. Too much glitter. I completely disagree. I think the reason that the glitter's on the bass boat is the fish love it. They try to eat the boat all the time. It's just like a great big bait fish to them. But I got to give it to you, Stones. You spanked us. Got it. Yeah. It's a great fishery, great people, great business. Come on up, give it a try. If you're not from Utah, you can come from the south, you can come from the north and you'll end up right at Smith & Edwards and out of Willard Bay. Thanks for watching. Next week, whole new adventure, same time, same channel.